your Photoshop is working purely and don't have an FSP or save a lot of planning. In this video, I am going to share all my knowledge from Adobe Creative and suggest some tips that can make your Photoshop work better. If you want to learn it, watch my video up to end. Hello guys, hi I'm Mahdi Amini, it's a GL Design channel. If you are new in my channel and you want to become a photo editor, subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to press the bell icon to don't miss any other videos from Photoshop tutorial. If you want to see that how much your computers work with your Photoshop, you can check it from the efficiency bar. For doing this, go to the little pop-out menu from the Photoshop and here just check the efficiency bar and you can see the efficiency. If it's an Android, it shows that your computer works better in Photoshop. If it gets below 100, it means that the Photoshop uses all of your computer runs and it don't have any enough header to use and work very correctly. And the one way that you can resolve this is by having either run to your computer and it breaks a gigabyte. Turn off the home screen. The home screen in Photoshop shows your most recent projects and some Adobe Education suggestions. If your Photoshop takes a long time to open, you can try to speed it up by removing the home screen. Just go to Edit, Preferences, and in general, and then uncheck. The box title auto shows the home screen and press OK. After that, when you start Photoshop, it won't open the home screen anymore. Don't use the clipboard. One issue that our computers work purely on Photoshop is don't have enough RAM. Because of this, while editing, don't try to use from copy and paste it. The only other way we can do this, and every time we need to edit or you want to open in your project, drag it in Photoshop and use from that. And every copy and paste you are doing, all of those save in clipboard and create a large file that it gets a lot of memory, and our Photoshop will get down by every copy and paste it. Use a spread disk. This tip is incredibly useful for Premiere Pro as well as Photoshop, where Photoshop will move some processing if the RAM is too saturated. To change a new spread disk, go to Edit, Preferences, and in here you need to go to the spread disk and check the disk or disk that you would like Photoshop to use this. And here I have checked disk C and disk D because the both of them have a lot of capacity. Photoshop will automatically move the processing on disk drives. If you have limited RAM on your computer and Photoshop is maxing it out, you can adjust that how much RAM you go to Photoshop and how much RAM you go to other program while you are using the Photoshop. To access this, we need to go to edit, preferences, and here we need to open performance and adjust the RAM amount around 80 should be ideal but you can even bump it up a little higher if you generally don't have much else running while you are working on Photoshop. Be aware of image dimensions. Working with a massive file on a huge canvas really slows down your work. Keep in mind, the image size you require if you only need 1000 by 1000 pixels image, there is no reason to work on it in 8000 by 8000 canvas. Working in an appropriately sized canvas will ensure that your Photoshop doesn't try to use more resources than it has to. Search your story and clipboard. If you have a long story of change and a lot of contents on your clipboard, you can watch the story by clicking Edit, Search, and then selecting All. It, this can clear up some memory on your computer, especially at a point where you don't need your edited story. Turn off Visual heads. Many of the visual heads in Photoshop use available resources and you may not need them. And the first is guideline and overlays. To hide guidelines, go to the view and uncheck rulers. To disable overlays, go to the view, show. Then uncheck the elements you want to turn off. Hopefully, at least one of these steps will help that your computer work better on Photoshop. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like my video and also subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press the bell icon to receive notified from new videos. Have a good time. See you in another tutorial.